I'm Carson from Guys With Games, and today's game is called Higher or Lower. It's good for practicing countable and uncountable nouns, but what I like to do is use this game to create an activity-based lesson that is related to whatever curriculum that we're teaching that day. So if you are reading an article, or having a discussion, or you are giving a lecture about some topic, Use that topic to create the content for our game and have related short conversations with the students that draws from this and relates back to it. It keeps their mind in one space. They're focused on one thing, but here they're doing it in a very fun way. So the game is all based on questions that you, the teacher, need to prepare before the game begins. And the answers to every one of these questions will be a number. Let's choose an example, okay? I've created one for our video today. If the topic, the article that we're reading, or the story in the storybook that the little children are reading is talking about a farm, then I will ask questions based on things related to that topic. Things about farm animals or chores that you do on a farm. And then I'll show you how to play the game. So I prepared a bunch of questions about the topic that we are learning and the answer to every one of those questions is a number. Now, I didn't know the answer to a lot of these questions, so I had to look it up. And the validity of the actual answer itself is kind of not important. You need to just come up with the first Google search answer that roughly answers your question and use that as the, the definitive answer for your game today. No one's going to be fact checking you during the class time. So let me show you how it works. If this was farm animals and we're asking questions about animals on a farm, maybe my first question could be something like, how many eggs does a hen lay in one year on average? And maybe I need to review this vocabulary. What does average mean? Do we remember what a hen is? And uh, okay, now that we've reviewed that as a class, what do you think? So I usually will start with the number 100. So let's go back to our example. Uh, if it's how many eggs does a hen lay in a year? Team one, you're first. Do you think more than 100 eggs or less than 100 eggs? Mm, that's a good question. Well, before you go, let's have a quick discussion. How many days are there in a year? There are 365 days in a year, that's right. Do you think a hen lays one egg every day? Two eggs every day? I don't know. Or maybe, no, maybe in one week. The hen does not lay seven eggs, so not every day, but in one week, maybe four eggs? I don't know, what do you think? And they can guess. If they think the number is higher than 100 or lower than 100, they'll say mm, higher. Okay, you choose higher, but that's not enough. You need to tell me a number which is higher than 100. So maybe they say mm, 200. So me, the teacher, I'm going to start writing up on top of this until somebody thinks it gets too high. Table three, what do you think? 200 eggs. Do you think it's keep going up or 200 is too high? I think it's more. I think it's one every day. So how about 365, they say. Okay, good. Table four, what do you think? Mm, table four, I, 365, I think it's more. I think it's a cup. When I think about uh, a nest, there's usually more than one egg inside, so how about 400? Okay, table five, what do you think? I don't know, I think this is too high. Okay, good, the game kind of stops for a moment. I'll box in the score of the last guess. And what happens? Table four, uh, it, what's the real answer? The real answer is only 260. So you were right, table five, 400 is too high. Now let's say that the real answer was 480. 480, but team five said that 400 was too high. Then who gets the star? Team four would get the star because their answer was still not too high. They get the star. Let's try another one. So erase this. How many hours in one day do you think a cat sleeps? A cat sleeps for how many hours in a day? 100. Who goes first? Table five goes first because they just got the point. It is really difficult for the first team to get one star because the kids will follow that direction. So we'll have a little laugh. It's not 100. There's not 100 hours in a day. Let's remind ourselves how many hours are there in one day. There are 24 hours in a day. Good job. 
So it can't be 100, that's too high. But think about it. Does anybody, do you have a cat at your home? Oh, you do? Good. Is he very sleepy? Does he sleep a lot? Yes, me too. Yeah, I have a cat. He is very sleepy. Always sleeping. So, not 100, but how many hours do you think he is sleeping? Um, for one day, maybe, let's say 20. Okay, so it's going down now. We cannot go higher. You can't say 21. You either say, team six, a lower number than 20, or you say, this is already too low, finish, and we'll see. I don't know, Team 6 says, I think maybe it's less than that, but I don't want to go too fast. I don't want to say too low or I will lose, so I'll say 19. Okay, good. Table 1, what do you think? I think this is still too high. I think maybe 18 is the right answer. 18 hours. Okay, Table 2, it's your turn. What do you think? Table 2, you think this is too low? Too low already? Well, let's see. First, before we find out the answer, how many hours are there in a day? There are 24 hours in a day. And if the cat is sleeping for 18 hours, that would mean, what's the answer here? Oh, six, okay. Well, that means that the cat is only awake for six hours every day. What's the answer? I don't know, I think this is too low. Oh, you're very close. I'm sorry, but the answer is 16. 16 hours to one day, the cat is sleeping. That means that table one gets the point and finish. So you continue this, I draw this number up here. It will say when you have three stars, you win the game and the game is finished. But as you can see, you'll need to prepare a bunch of questions. How do I find the answers? Just Google search and say, that is my answer for the game.